could totally be a DJ. Now let me clear my throat. No, 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 no. I should have that playing in the back of every single video because I have to clear my throat in every single video. What are you doing? Why are you breaking things? All right. Hi, everybody. So welcome to another video from yours truly, me. Um, I have a haul video. Finally, something different. I am doing something that is not a review of a product that has been sent to me. Ha! Don't worry, there are plenty of those to come, though. Um, also, a bunch of little giveaways also coming up, so exciting. But, I have an itch. So, I went shopping, and this is a collective haul, like a really, really collective haul, because it's probably been compiled over the last two months or so. Maybe even three. Uh, but who's counting? So... I went to Forever 21, Bloomingdale's, and Lord & Taylor. I went to Forever 21 when I was in the city with my friends, and there's actually a vlog up about that, so if you guys want to see what I was trying on and kind of like the entire day and what we did, I will link that down below so you can go and check that out on my vlog channel. Um, I found some really cute dresses and some other cute things that I'm going to show with you. Show with you. I'm going to share them with you as I show them to you. Um, I went to Bloomingdale's because I had a gift card again, so I used the gift card on some things that I can hopefully use in my everyday life because that would be beneficial now, wouldn't it? And then at Lord & Taylor they had a massive sale, um, like they always do, and so I got some really cute things for summer. Alright, I'm gonna start with... I'm gonna start with Forever 21. This is the bag I got. Uh, Oh, that was graceful. Okay, I don't know what to start with. I'm gonna start with these because they're on top. I got little uh, foot sock thingies, mini sockets as they call them, because I have certain shoes where I will get massive, massive blisters, and I actually got a very large blister from the city, but that's a story that I don't want to talk about because it was very painful. Um, so I'm gonna put these into like Sperry's or any other shoes that have openings or backs that are kind of really close up against my heel because I get blisters very easily, I have found out over the last week or two where I've gotten many of them. Um, so these will hopefully kind of help that, and I also like them because they were cheetah, and that's the first thing that kind of attracted, attracted me. I think I should do some like exercises on speaking. Ma, ma. What to do to die today in a minute or two to two? A thing distinctly hard to say, but harder still to do. Oh yes, choir days. I decided to wear these, not only because they're cute and you won't see them, but because they won't give me blisters. And Mush is here to say hi. Okay. Um, this is something else that I got. It's a little wrinkled because it's been chilling in the bag, but this is a dress, obviously, because it's long and dress like and I have worn this several times I love it because it's a nice basic um, it has a little clip in the front so that you can kind of cover up your boobies if you want to I it can't stay clipped over mine so I have to wear mine open but I wear it with a bandeau underneath and I just think that it's really nice it's very light which is good because if you want to wear a dark color if you're not feeling too hot that day well, you will feel hot but like in a different sense um, this is really nice to wear and I also love the bottom on it because it does have some lace detailing and it's like I don't know it reminds me of a doily I always say that but yeah that's the bottom of the dress so in full this is the dress and it's a material that wrinkles quite quickly so if you're taking a hot shower hang it up in there but they do still sell this because I just recently purchased it. This is the white top that I got and it's a crop top and it actually can be worn wrinkled I guess if you want to do that whole look but it kind of reminds me of like a pirate shirt um, because of the sleeve also the style of it and the fabric. This top was $14.90 and so I think that it's a pretty good price for this because I know I'm gonna wear it a lot and it has a really super stretchy neck as I'm playing with it and it's cropped and looks really cute with high-waisted shorts the next thing that I got is this dress which really reminds me of just like being a hippie and like having grass or flowers in my hair I don't know why grass probably more flowers not grass that's a little weird but I love the sleeve on this because it's big and belled and it looks really nice on and the whole dress is kind of it's more slim fit but then the sleeves are like really bubbly and as you guys know I like my puffy sleeves because they minimize and that's great minimizing is a fantastic thing in the fashion world and this dress was 
$27.90. So it was a great price also because it looks like it's a lot more expensive and like looks like I paid a lot more for it but on it's just it's adorable and you'll be seeing a picture of this on Instagram you bet you will and finally I got a hat from there I have worn this hat four times already uh, I really wanted a summery hat that I could just kind of toss on and go because I have a ton of hats but not a lot of them go with many outfits it's kind of like if I wear this outfit I'll wear this exact hat because it looks good only with this outfit whereas this one is kind of very neutral and it has a tan straw looking effect with black and as we know black goes with everything so I really like this a lot and I like the fact that it's tan I tried on a white version of it and it just didn't do the same thing for me because I'm a little too white for it but if you're tan then the white one will work I believe this was $12. I don't think it was too steep, but I really I like this hat a lot and I love the shape that it has and it's just like I love it. Okay, now we're going to move on to a little brown bag from Bloomingdale's. And in here I went to Bloomingdale's. It duh. And I had a gift card, so I needed to find something because Bloomingdale's is not really a place that I go to all that often because I can find things for much cheaper at other places. Um, and so I got an iPad mini that I actually worked the entire summer to pay off for, but also like my laptop. So I got a Kate Spade case for it, and it's actually really cute. It's like a little clipboard, and I love it like a... Uh, what are they called? Clapboard? Clapboard. I think it's a clapboard and I love that because it kind of pertains to one of my majors so it makes me happy um, and so I wanted to get something else I never know what uh, with a gift card I'm like oh I'll just get another wallet but I have so many wallets because that's always what I get with gift cards because I don't have the patience to go out and buy clothing so instead of doing that I'm like I'm gonna take the time today and actually look around and find something else that I can buy rather than a wallet so they had this iPad mini case and it says speak of the devil and it is from Kate Spade yet again uh, I love her cases because I think that they're great for just it has a little stand in the back and so I can lean it back and that's how I watched all of Netflix and all of Gossip Girl and then now I'm done and I'm so sad but this retailed initially at $65 and if I were to see this and be like $65 <laughs> No, I'm not paying that much money. So then it was on sale for $48.75, and then I believe I also got a 20% discount on it, I think. Uh, I could totally be making that up, but I'm pretty sure that I got a discount for it. So then I had a little bit more money left over, and so I needed to find something else that I could get because I was like, I'm here now, I may as well find something. So I figured I'll go and I'll find something makeup related because I always use makeup and... Bloomingdale's has basically every single brand. So I'm walking around, walking around, finding nothing, 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 and I've been obsessed with red lipstick lately. Exhibit A. So I wanted to find a red lipstick that wouldn't dry out my lips as much because I find that if they're too pigmented then it's just like, I have crackly lips after wearing it for an hour. So I went to MAC and I love the formulation of their lipsticks, it goes on very smoothly, it stays on, it doesn't dry out my lips, and so I went there and I talked to somebody and I was like, hey, so I really want a red lipstick. And I'm like, I don't want it to be too, too red because I want to be able to wear, want to be able to wear it every day. So she's like, oh, well you can try this one, like all of our lipstick are, lipsticks are pigmented, blah, 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 it, there will be some drying, and I'm like, I, I won't be able to. I won't be able to escape this. So I ended up getting a color and it's called Russian Red and I find that really funny because I'm Russian and I liked the color prior to seeing the name of it. So this is what the lipstick looks like. No, focus on the lipstick. So this is what the lipstick looks like and it is very pigmented. And initially, I was like, oh yeah, I could wear that every day. And then I tried it on and I was like, yo, I can't wear this every day. But it's super pretty, so I'm going to get it because I know that I will get some use out of it. So this is what it looks like. And this has more of like a yellowy base rather than a blue base. I liked 
I like blue based red lipsticks more because they can make your teeth look white and I think that's really important especially in pictures because you don't want to be all yellowy and like Arr. so uh, I like this one a lot I do wear this at night kind of more often I wore it during the day and my mom was just like yo all I see right now is your lips she didn't actually say yo I added that in for effect but um, I'm really happy that I got it because I have probably upwards of 10 red lipsticks now and I'm kind of just rotating through them right now my favorite is Tarte fiery love amazing fantastic coloring I'm wearing that right now now we're gonna move on to Lord and Taylor um I had a lot of fun here I needed bottoms I like dresses and skirts I hate shorts I hate pants but I really wanted a pair of white pants because I have so many tops that can only be worn with white pants that I needed to find them but I also needed to find a pair that would look good on me because when you have a bigger bum finding white pants that look good and don't make you look like a whale is kind of challenging especially when they're like really thin material and you're just like oh look I see all of my cellulite bubbles let me play connect the dots so I decided to go and look for bottoms and solely bottoms so I got these and these are by tinsel they are super high-waisted shorts they are neon pink and they're stretchy. Those are three of my favorite characteristics of pants ever. Um, neon pink, typically I wear on top, but these looked really good and they were short enough where they like looked good on my butt and my legs. So I was very, very happy when I ended up getting these. Um, they were originally $45, but I know that I did not pay $45. I also had a gift card to Lord & Taylor, which is why I went there. Um, <clears throat> Let me see. Oh, they were originally $45, but then they were marked down to $29.99. So that's how much I paid for these. I paid $30. Um, I was very excited about those. I am very excited about those. I am super excited to wear them for the summer. So much excitement. Very happy. Yay, Leah. Then I also wanted to get a nice bottom that I could wear kind of a little more fancy, but also had a different style than the usual like jean short. So we're looking around and Free People is one of my favorite brands because for some reason all of their clothes just happen to look really good on me. Um, I'm not saying that like as a rep, I'm just saying like they actually like look decent, they're pretty, they're festive, and they have lots of different colors and patterns and things that I like. So I saw these shorts and absolutely fell in love with them because of the type of leg that they have. When, they, when they're when they on, they're really narrow in the waist and then they kind of like Busan out a little bit. Like Busan's normally up here, but I'm gonna like apply it to the bum. So I really like the way that these look. I can wear them with a tighter top and like a jean jacket and then it just like, it looks really nice. I can also wear them out to dinner if I wanted to, wear them with a pair of high heels and it still looks put together and fancy. So I can wear them casually, but I can also wear them if I were to go out at night. And these were originally, <clears throat> these were originally $58. They were marked down to $40.60. And then the final price ended up being $34.80. So, hi mush. Uh, so I ended up getting them for nearly $35, which I think is a great deal, especially because finding shorts that look good on me is difficult. Don't drink my water! Another thing that's very difficult for me to find, like I said before, is white pants. So I ended up going through and my mom found a pair, or two pairs of white jeans. The first pair, I was like, these are gonna look absolutely terrible on me because the material is really thin. Then we found a pair by Lucky Brand. Also love Lucky. All of like the hippie kind of brands are like my favorite. So ended up finding a pair of white jeans that will look good on me. Yay! So I can wear them with a lot of different tops that I have that I have not worn because I haven't had the white the white bottoms, the right bottoms to wear with them. So these were the pants. They are also cropped and they have like a little turn up at the bottom. I don't know if they did that they did it themselves. But I like the way that it looks. So if you turn them up a little bit, cuff them it's great perfect length on me finding pants that are short enough and look good and whatever is difficult but I did that and I managed to be very happy so these were initially $79.50 and I ended up getting them for $49.99 or $50 so I was very very happy with that and that was a price that I was willing to pay for them because you know I needed it so I love wearing 
kimono style things and just like wearing them with shorts because I think it's a really nice easy thing to toss on over a tank top and I won't have to worry about like any flubby showing or like oh my god I forgot to shave today that's okay look I can put a kimono on and nobody will know so I ended up getting this one and I said ended up a lot today I need to stop this was initially $68 it was marked down to $44.20 then I ended up getting it for $35.36 so this is what it looks like it's by Vintage Havana and I really like their stuff because once again it has that whole little vibe to it but it's really cute it's tie-dye and it has some really nice beading and it's design on the front so that was exciting and I'm really excited to wear this also big sleeve so the final thing that I got is I love chambray shirts and I love the way that they look I love the style and I also like acid wash so the best of both worlds a chambray shirt combined with acid wash oh my goodness so this shirt has a very interesting feeling to it it's not like a typical cotton shirt it kind of has more movement to it it's like a little jiggly I like how I describe fabrics. It's a jiggly fabric. Um, I don't even know what it's actually made of. That would be lovely to find out. Lyocell. I've never heard of that before. Uh, that is what this is made of. And I'm. it has like a split in the back. So I get like one triangle for one cheek and one triangle for another cheek. So it's just going to like walk back and forth. But I was really excited about this also because I can wear that with denim shorts, toss that on, wear it open over a tank top. The options are endless. So that was initially $58 and then it was 40% off. So it came to $34.80. So the most expensive thing that I ended up getting were the jeans, but I said it again, but that's all right because it was very, very worth it, I think, because I'm going to wear them a lot. That, my friends, is all that I have for you today, and it was a very long haul, and I talked a lot, probably because I have not done a haul, and so I felt deprived. Um, I hope that you guys liked this video. If you did, then please don't forget to give it a big fat thumbs up on the bottom, turn that little bar green, and make my day. Uh, I will hopefully see you. Not hopefully, I will definitely see you if you're watching this video. Subscribe, yay! Uh, see you in my next video. If you're not already subscribed to this channel, go and click the little subscribe button down there, or up there, or over there, wherever they put it now. Uh, go and follow me on my vlog channel. Subscribe over there, because I post vlogs, and I will be posting a bunch of vlogs this summer. I promise you. Um, and then go and follow me on Instagram, on Twitter, on Pinterest, on all of my other social media sites. I will see you all in my next video. I'll see you all in my next video. All right, bye-bye.